Oh my god, you guys. Remember a few weeks ago we read this Total Fiery Island book 10, which was called Spinner? Well, today let's read the next book in the sequence, which is Total Fiery Island book 11, which is called Bowling 1. And that's already giving us a hint that maybe there's multiple bowling books in this series, which is kind of a weird thought. As a reminder, Total Fiery Island is a set of 18 comic books that I wrote around September 2008 and serve as a sort of precursor before the first episode of BFDI, explaining why certain situations are the way they are before we start the first episode of BFDI, like why Fiery and Quinny hate each other. Over the past few hours, I've been uploading lots of scans to the Google Drive folder, which I will link in the description. And one of those folders is TFI 11. So here are all the scans for that book. And let's read them together in this YouTube video. So as I said, Total Fiery Islands 11's title is Bowling One, and we got this cute little fiery logo in the corner. But let's actually look at the real content, the story. So we start off with the announcer saying, here's the scoreboard. That's my announcer impression. Um, and then we have the six final contestants of Total Fiery Island. We've got Ice Cube, Match, Snowball, why is Snowball abbreviated SN and not SB? I guess that might be the archaic way of abbreviating his name, but it looks like tin on the periodic table. And then we got Bubble, BU, Coiny, CO, and Pencil, PE. This is like a normal bowling grid, you know, with the little notch in the upper right. And then the announcer says, there are six pins. And you, I have these like six pins and the pins don't look like bowling pins. They just look like pool noodles. I remember in middle school, I had this obsession with miniaturizing and simplifying popular games. So of course I couldn't have a game with 10 pins. I had to like simplify it down to six to make it a cute little mini game. And then the, the announcer says, the team with the most points wins, highest score, 54. Um, and that actually makes mathematical sense because if there are six pins, then a strike is six points, but then you also get to add the next two rounds. That's sort of the bowling rule. So imagine if you get strikes all throughout, like here, here, here and here. Then on the first one, you'll get 18 points because six plus six plus six. And then on the second round, you'll also get 18 points. And on the last round, you'll get 18 points. So 18 times three is 54. So the math checks out. <laughs> when I was 11, even back then, I was a math enthusiast. So I definitely cared on making it correct, even though it's like not that fun storyline wise. Also, when I opened this book for the first time in a, in a while, I noticed a lot of similarities with this and BFDI episode 16, which is the actual bowling episode in, in the show. I don't know if, if it's this appropriate to, to call this comic book the manga and then the show the, the anime. Uh, but it's, it's kind of like that because if you look at the bowling setup, it's like this, you have the bowling lane itself is like this ledge floating above the ground and that's what it's like here too. But I did have this little pillar. So anyway, the pins are at the end. Bubble is up first and she grabs a bowling ball and throws it with all her might. Even though she's such a light bodied character, she that bowling ball probably weighs more than her entire body. And then the ball goes down the lane and then it crashes right through the middle of the six pins. Bam! Four pins are knocked out, but she gets a split. There's one pin on either side that's still, still standing. Bubble says, yeah, because I guess that's pretty good for her. Let me just zoom out. And <laughs> I guess the pins and the ball just fall like a hundred feet to the ground and then that are scooped up with this little hole in this pipe. But I can't imagine that's safe because that's such a far distance to fall. But I guess she's happy with four pins. Oh, no, we don't we don't get to see how it, wait, is that right? We don't get to see how it ends. So I guess Bubble gets her four pins and then that's it for the round. That's right. Yeah, like I, I literally didn't follow up with Bubble's ending, but I did not skip a page. We go right onto Ice Cube who kicks the bowling ball. That's a little aggressive and also painful thinking that like your foot and your all your toe bones are just going right into a 12 pound bowling ball made of like metal or something. Okay, and then the ball goes way up into the air. Wait, Ice Cube, I didn't know she was this strong and it's like literally flying. This reminds me of uh, like Al Gadoo days, like an object just flying miles into the sky and then it catches on fire, boom. Um, let's zoom in into that flaming bowling ball. Look at that, that, that artwork is incredible. And then it fooms again and literally explodes, boom. And then the shock wave, I guess, knocks down the pins. Okay, that's a strategy that did not happen in the BFDI episode. I think it's just too unrealistic to actually put in the show. And then Ice Cube says, Yeah! All right, and okay, I can't do Ice Cube's voice. No, no! I'm trying to make it wetter, but it's not working. Ice Cube gets six points, so, so her team, I think the Yelling Beavers are winning. 
Bubbles team, the murderer Trout are losing. And then I just wrote now, later, because I just wanted to cut ahead. Ice Cube, Match, and Snowball, everyone's gone, and the Yelling Beavers have 50 points, and the murderer Trout have 35. But look at that, Snowball got two strikes in a row. So he's really good at bowling, which I didn't expect. Coney got the only, no, Match also got a strike. She got three and then three, and Coney got five and then one. Bubble has not got a single spare anywhere. I mean spare for these two. Bubble never knocks down all the pins, so she's pretty bad. Pencil, good job on her strike. Um, it looks like Ice Cube's explosion through atmospheric friction thing didn't work on round two because she only knocked down four pins. Okay, well the numbers don't really matter. Um, it's down to the final round. I guess I realized that just watching numbers show up is a boring thing for a comic book. Bubble says, You know, you've got the lawyer's square. So we're behind! That's kind of not nice. I mean, Bubble's not doing that well either. She got 9 points, Quinny got 8. I mean, he would have gotten a lot more if he didn't get a gutter ball right after his spare. But then Quinny says, Well, you're the only person who hasn't gotten a spare or strike yet. Oh, I guess you know this is the same thing as me. Why are we fighting within a team? They should be working together, not against each other. On to the next page. Then Bubble says, Well, at least I'm a hoi hoi hoi. I think this is actually before Bubble got her oi accent, so she, that doesn't make sense. So she bowls, and the bowling ball goes way to the left, and then she goes, Doi, wait, no, okay, let me match, ma let me match the direction, because it's flipped on the webcam. She goes, Doi, oi, and then the bo bowling ball goes to the right, and then she goes, Noi, toi, moi, doi, oi, and then she, she hits it right in the middle, and then someone, it's, it's very mysterious who, says, Strike! But it could be any of the other characters watching. And then Bubble throws again. But this panel shows very little of her actual body. And then she gets a gutter ball. And then she throws it again. And then someone says five. So I guess she gets five. So she finishes the bowling ball contest with 20 points. Then Ice Cube's up. So we're back to the yelling beavers. She kicks the ball again. And it's flying through the air just like last time. So at first you might think, oh, this is a re repeat of last time. But then Ice Cube says, no foam! Also, I tend to avoid these angles where it's like Ice Cube's face is on the side of her, but we can actually see the front of her body because it doesn't look right that the front face of the Ice Cube does not have a face and it's completely blank. It just looks weird. So I drew her like that two times or three times on this page because I hadn't developed my drawing style of Ice Cube to realize not to do that. Okay, and then the bowling ball hits the, a tree, which is so forceful it snaps the tree in half, but she doesn't get any pins knocked down. So she's like, softer ice cube, next time, softer next time ice cube. So she bips it, like the, the smallest kick you can imagine on the bowling ball. Oh, and then just slowly wanders off the edge of the bowling lane and it just falls off. So she gets two gutter balls, that's embarrassing. And with that, Ice Cube finishes with 16 points and Bubble with 20. So now Bubble's team, the, the murderer Trout, are ahead by four points. Match bowls, she's like, like, OMG, ow. Because Snowball and her are like beating each other up because they got into a fight last book, so I guess they're still in a fight. And then they both get two gutter balls in the end, nearly. I guess they both were so invested in fighting each other, they just didn't try to bowl well. So you got Ice Cube with 16 points, Mass with 16, Snowball with 54 because of his two... Oh, Snowball got another strike, so he just got a perfect score, which, uh, yeah. Nice, go Snowball! Oh, you did it! Yes, yeah, Snowball, you did it. Okay. So Bubble and Corny have 20 and 26 points with 46 total. So Pencil needs to get 40 points to tie and 41 to win. So again, you know, I, I made everything mathematically accurate and Bubble is smart too. So Bubble says, Point Soil, I did some thinking. And for Ois to win, you have to get three strikes or two strikes and a five. Which is really hard, right? We're talking about 18 pins total, and you have to either knock down 17 of them, or all 18. So this is a very high bar for Pencil to reach. Bubble hands the ball to Pencil, and says, Think you can doil it? And Pencil is so much thinner back then, and also more detailed, so I guess she looked more like a real Pencil. Like, oh my gosh, is this Pencil in real life? Like, look how thin that is compared to, like, Pencil from BFDI. It's, like, over... 15 to 1, you know, 15 times longer than than wide, but pencil in this show is so wide, like... Wonderful. It's, yes. it's, oh, look how wide pencil is here. Okay, anyway, pen, then pencil says, Uh, I don't know. I hope so. And then Bubble says, Come on, you can do it. I don't know why the emphasis is on you and not do it. I would say, you can do it. Make us win 
Destroy in a royal. Okay, that's a little greedy, right? We don't have to win three times in a row. And then I have, for the very first time in total Fiery Island history, a to be continued sign. So that means this was bowling one, but it's not the end of the competition. And I left my readers on a cliffhanger because that's the end of book 11. Book 12 is where the bowling contest ends. So we don't know whether Pencil's gonna make it or not. And I purposefully did not read ahead. So I also myself do not know if Pencil wins it for the team. Does she knock down all 18 pins? Or does she fall short and does her miniature team of three lose and they're up for elimination? Who knows? Not me, not you, not anyone. anyone. That was my reading of book 10 of Total Fiery Island. The, the images are on the Google Drive folder linked below. And book 12, which I'm holding right here, will come next, Bowling 2. Thank you for watching everyone. I'll see you all later.